he shall appear from a far eastern land across the sea. A young man who has yet to know his potential. This potential is a power that could either destroy him or realize his will. His courage shall determine his fate. The path he must traverse fraught with adversity, I await whilst praying. For this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with the morning star as its only light. And thus the saga begins. of telling you. Uh, 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 
Do you remember Chao Sun Ming? Chao? That's the name of the man you killed in Moon Swan. It can't be you. Get up. I'll allow you to die like a warrior. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. 
from tomorrow. I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. You're still sleeping in bed. Farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. convictions. Live for one's convictions. Die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through. My father must have known that Lan Li was coming.
No, I'll avenge my father's murder on my own. Keep your balance. That's right. <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. Straighten up. Find your center of balance. Yes, like that. Yes, good. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryosan, why? What you gonna do? Ryosan, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki Sensei. They killed my father right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. That boy you fought with, what is he to you? A friend from school. And what is a friend? Well, a friend is a friend. That's right. Just as a parent is a parent, a friend is nothing other than a friend. But listen, Ryo. Parents often die before their children. Oh! That's the law of nature. Uh, uh. Friends will be there for you even after parents die. So treasure your friends. And friends you can trust are true friends indeed. Understood? Mm. Reach it.
What's this? What's this doing here? Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this. So it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Excuse me. Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. 
Thank you so much. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. about those men in the black car what Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car no no I don't remember they might have been the ones who murdered my father your father please try to think All right man I'll try those guys in the black car what were they like I saw a guy wearing this weird coat what kind of coat it was a deep green Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. 
Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. You think you can bump into me and not even apologize? Yeah, jerk. Apologize to Enoki-san. Well, maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you. I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it. Your history. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Damn, you're pretty tough. Uh, uh, oh. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, I I'm sorry. You don't mess with me again. Got it? All right, all right. Uh. Hey, are you, are you okay? Can you get up? <sighs> Tao san. Yes. Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. 
the shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um, yes! Itoi-san, do you know about the Three Blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the barber's. I see, but Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Nen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. Itoi-san? The Japanese word wapen. It's the symbol of a Yokosuka man. Learn anything? I'll come again. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. My compliments. You mastered it with so little instruction. You are truly a Hazuki. Your father would be very proud of you. No, I'm still... But even so, that was amazing. 
The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll be fine. Keep at it and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday, I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day. Son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki son? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao son suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards? 
protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors. About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Tom. Hi, Rio. Do you know any place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, I do. They hang out at bars. They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know. I can't stand them, man. Which bar do they hang out at? I don't know. I'm broke. I can't afford to drink. Oh, well. Later. Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Nozomi, do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Well, they sure don't come in here. I'd guess that they probably hang out in bars. Yeah, probably. Hey, sorry to bother you at work. It's no bother. But Ryo. Hmm? Don't do anything crazy. I won't. See ya. May I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo. Ryo, may I help you? Yes. Again, Ryo. Ryo, may I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo. May I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo.
Got a minute? Hey, the kid's saying something. Are you guys sailors? Mm, could be. Hey, kid. How about a game? Game? You sink the ball in one shot, you win. And I'll answer your questions. But you miss, I win. Buy me a bourbon. Okay? You're on. Just have to make the shot, right? Try your luck. Unbelievable, man! The deal was, I make the shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? Nah. We're base workers. Them broke sailors drink at the Heartbeats Bar. Heartbeats Bar. Hey, let's bet again. Come on! Tom. Hi, Dio. Have you heard of a bar called Heartbeats? Oh, yeah, but it's real dangerous, I hear. Where is it? It's farther down the street. It's next to Slot House. I see. Son. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! Welcome. There you go! Milk's perfect for a schoolboy, I'd say! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off! You little punk! You looking for some of this? <laughs> you stupid! Ah! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? 
Enough talk. Now get out. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I see that guy out in front of the shop sometimes. Always ragging my merchandise, like he'd ever buy anything. <laughs> when does this Charlie come around? He usually heads over this way after hitting the jacket shop. You know, man, guys like that almost always look around without buying anything. I see. About Charlie? Last time he came around, it was about 7 p.m. Came from the jacket shop. Man, you can tell right off that he's not here to buy anything. I see. Thanks. It's in Chinese. There you go. Good, huh? You can drink it all. I'll bring you more later. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. What's up? Got a minute? Sure. Your parents? Yeah, they're in Vancouver. Don't you miss them? I did at first, but I'm living with my grandmother. 
I have friends now, and... And? Well, I like it here. Oh. Oh, Rio, what did you call to talk about? Um, no reason. Later. Okay. See ya. Judging from the pictures, it's a hand move. Judging from the pictures, it's a leg move. What's this key for? A key? But to what? This may come in handy. Time for that now. Thank you, ine -san. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuxa. Practicing the move name Pitblow. Ah, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone, and I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. Your real son, can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That's great! Your moves are so smooth and powerful. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukasan. Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... Why is a sword with no handguard in this box? I'll leave this here. Yeah, but be careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me.
Hi, Megumi. Hi, Odo. Do, do you think the kitty going to get all better? I'm sure she's going to be fine. I think so too. Have you named her yet? Not yet. Do, do you have any ideas? Let me see. How about Mimi? Oh, I get it. Cause her ears are so cute. Uh huh. Mimi. That's Nozomi's voice. Well, aren't we brave? You must not know who we are, eh? I don't care who you think you are. You can't threaten little kids. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy. So we're gonna teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid. Hey, you're kind of cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from Don't me! Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. This will be fun. Nasomi. Ryo. What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you? Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Dio. Nasomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Okay. What's wrong? I'm so thirsty. I want a drink, but I don't have any change. I'll buy you one. What do you want? You're really nice. Thanks. What kind of drink do you recommend? Hmm. Let's see. Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again. And try Tao-san's special. Yes. Please give my regards to Tao-san. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you.
Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Do you know him? Charlie? He wears sunglasses, a black leather jacket, and has a tattoo on his arm. No, I don't know him, man. Really? Excuse me. Hey, I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah, you know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know, and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. That guy with the tattoo on his arm? He was here. He came around 7 p.m. four or five days ago. Probably on his way to some bar. No intention of buying anything. I see. Itoi-san. Yes? Do you know a man named Charlie? A Charlie? Charlie, I know Charlie Chaplin, but he's no longer with us. I assume you mean someone local? Yes, someone alive and from around here. He has a tattoo. Hmm, I have no idea. I see. It looks like I can practice here. Think I'll warm up a bit. Let's get sweaty. Can I have this? Yes! Thank you very much. This is the Scroll of Secrets. My grandfather said read this in practice and you'll become stronger.
Maybe next time. Can I have this? Yes. Thank you very much. As my grandfather used to say, the enlightened can understand the value of this scroll. Sawano-san. Hello. I'm looking for someone. Do you know a man named Charlie? Charlie? Is that a foreign name? What does he look like? He wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. He also has a tattoo on his arm. He's not Yakuza, is he? Huh? Well, I've only heard rumors about it, but... There's apparently an office where people like that are seen. It's called Nagai Industries. Nagai Industries. Sawano-san. Yes? Sawano-san, do you know where this Nagai Industries is? I'm pretty sure it was just past the thrift store. You mean the water dragon? Yeah, but Joe, you really aren't going there, are you? Yeah. Well, now you be extra careful. Don't get yourself into trouble. I got it. Thank you. Excuse me. I want to ask you something. Huh? Shut the hell up. Who in the hell are you, eh? You don't shut the hell up. I'll make you wish you had. Asking this guy is pointless. Sorry, it's okay. Um, I want to ask you something. Listen up, kid. I don't know why you're in such a hurry, but never stray from yourself. Yes, sir. That's all I gotta say for now. Excuse me. Ah! Hold it. He's just a kid. Ah, sorry. Can I ask you something? Can you tell me about a man named Charlie? Charlie? He always wears a leather jacket and sunglasses. You mean that badass dude with a tattoo on his arm? That's him. I've seen him around at night. Really? For details, go ask Toshiki over there. Got it. Excuse me, but may I ask you something? I hope I'm not rude, but who are you? My name is Dio Hazuki. Ryo? Oh, I see. I heard about that incident. My condolences. Thank you. I'm looking for a man who goes by the name Charlie. Charlie? Don't believe I ever heard of him. Mm. Anything to do with that incident, per chance? Yes. Mm. Is he a gangster? I don't know, but apparently he has a tattoo. Mm. In that case... Ask one of our younger guys. One of them just may know something. I'll do that. Got a minute? Hey, what's up? I want to ask you about that guy, Charlie. Oh, that low life. That guy walks around Dobry at night like he owns the place. Where? You know the military surplus shop, right? And the Yokosuka jacket shop? 
I hear he's a real pain down there. Right. One game, 100 yen. I'll play it once. Good. I missed. All right. Good. I want a free game! Hey, not too bad. Not bad. Not bad. So this is the last free game. Alright. So close. I'm getting it.
Yeah. Last one. All right. Whoa, the high score. Wow, man, you're pretty good. You won a prize. Here you go. Thanks. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on. I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy! Show us what you got! So, do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've got to believe me! Um, what you want? I'd like to ask you about your tattoo. You interested in tattoos? Yeah. This tattoo's our gang's symbol. Where'd you get it? At the best tattoo artist around. Where's that tattoo parlor? By the look of those arms, you look like you can hold your own in a fight. I'll tell you what you want to know, if you'll join our gang. All right. If you mean it, go get the tattoo. The shop's in Okayama Heights. I trust you can find it yourself. That tattoo parlor? It's in Okayama Heights.
sorry, man. We're closed. A guy named Charlie gets his tattoos here, right? Never heard of him. That's funny. He's been bragging about your work. I want to ask him something in person. That's so. Hey, man. Why don't you lose the jacket? What? Easy, man. I just figured you've got perfect skin for my work. Nice color. No sag. I would love to get the chance to work on someone fresh for a change. I'm sick and tired of those cheap, greasy punks. No, I'm not into tattoos. I want to know about Charlie. Hey, let me work on you, man. I won't charge you nothing. Come on. I said no. Oh man, too bad. You know Charlie, don't you? Come on back tomorrow. Is he coming in tomorrow? He might come. Look, I'm close. Get out. Hey. Me, me? Hey, Nagashima. I didn't do nothing, I swear! Catch you later. Um, got a minute? Huh? Get out of my space, schoolboy! Hey, and okay. What do you want? You. Huh? Cruising for bruising? Just let me know where and when. Wait! Catch you later. Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Here's your milk. Drink up. You can drink it all. I'll bring you more later. Hello? Leo, 
Have you heard from Anoki since then? No, but thanks for your concern. Well, if you do, call me. I'll be right there. Okay, I've got to go. My grandmother needs to use the phone. Sure. Bye now. Today's allowance. Looks like a leg move. Judging from the pictures, it's a leg move. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Ado. Yo, I named the kitty. Her name is Mimi. It's cute, isn't it? Uh huh. It's a real cute name. You've got yourself a good friend there. Uh huh. Mimi and I, we're real good friends. I see. I'm happy for you. Here, drink up. It's good. Look, Dio, she's drinking it. Yeah, she'll get better if she drinks her milk. You're right. Thanks, Dio. something tough so no one'll mess with me yeah <laughs> like that schoolboy shut up he kicked your butt too that schoolboy huh <sighs> it's him uh, uh, oh, I'm no! out of here have you come for a tattoo I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. 
He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, lest you want to get hurt. I want to know about the cartel. I don't know! Why do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me! Okay, let me go! I'll tell you! I'll arrange for you to meet some of them, okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at three. Wait at the arcade. I have your word? Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show. Nozomi, what are you doing here? Class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation, but you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet, but if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later. May I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo. Ryo, may I help you? Yes. Again, Ryo. Ryo, may I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo. May I help you? Yes. Come again, Ryo. Ryo, 
May I help you? This. Come again, Myo. Yo, may I help you? This. Come again, Yo. Yo, may I help you? This. Come again, Myo. Yo, may I help you? This. Come again, Myo. Hey Azuki, come on over here. It's you guys again. Why won't you drop it? Think you're too good for us, eh? I have nothing to say to you guys. Think you can run away? The only place you're going is to the hospital. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't have time to fool around. Okay, okay, we're sorry. Let go. Don't ever come near me again. All right, all right, I got it. Here, drink up. It's good. Seems you are hungry, huh? Oh, <laughs> oh,
Nozomi. Leo. How are your studies coming along? Okay, my exam prep class is really paying off. I see. Why don't you come along? That's good. Nozomi! Oh, sorry, but I think my grandmother's calling me. Oh. Sorry, please call me back later. Sure. Bye now. Yeah. Father, I promise to avenge you. Yosan! Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. Alright. Let's give it all we got, eh? That was a good one. How about this? Whoa, whoa! Oh! That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. H have you found something? I have got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who, who killed Hazuki Sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you. Please think it over. My mind is made up. I must go. Ryo-san! Ine-san, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Ryo-san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki-sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Dosan, please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese, but why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Inesa. 
please. I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, dear son. Be sure not to waste this. Ryo-san, what were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it... From the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! Real son. Spar one round with me. Sure, I'll take you on. Give me all you got! No holding back, okay? That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? Whoa, whoa! Oh! That was a good one. What's wrong, Fuku-san? Yeah. Yeah. That's it for today. Thanks, Fuku-san. I look forward to next time. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adyo. Hey, Adyo, you know what? Mimi can understand me when I talk to her. Whenever I call her, she answers me. Really? Uh-huh, I swear. Right, Mimi? I told you. Wow, that's amazing. There you go. Good, huh? She's drinking it. Yeah, she'll get better if she drinks her milk. You're right. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> What's wrong? What? Where is he? At the construction site.
You. I knew you couldn't resist, boy. What? Remember the tattoo parlor? Payback time. Here, catch. Go home. What? What? Enough. Huh? Damn! Don't think you can get away with this. Are you okay? Shishi, thank you. Shishi? Hey, are you Chinese? Yes, my name's Xiao Go. What's your name? Ryo. Ryo Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Shishi, Ryo san! busy now. By the way, Gowen, you're Chinese, aren't you? Yup. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? Her name is Sha Shoui. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? Which shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called... Roshia. You mean Roshia China Shop, right? It says Roshia in big letters next to the door. I'll go see her. Thanks. Nozomi. Ryo, take care of yourself. Sure. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakuragaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave just like you. It was nothing really. <laughs> so what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay, reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reverse left to right. 
They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da. Ju Yong Da. Master Chen. Oh, there's something written on the back too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's heaven, nine dragons. Mother's earth, comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes, zero four six eight six one five six four. Zero four six eight six one five six four. Right. I've got it. Thank you very much. Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Son. Yeah, it's me. What was that letter about? Apparently, this. Those who pursue the mirror, Chu Yonda. So, the letter is connected to Sensei's death. I'm going to find out. Will you search for that Master Chen? That's all I can do. If you find out, let me know. I will. Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight. You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. That's warehouse number eight.
Hi, Hirata-san. Ah, hi there, yo. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Got it. Sixty-one. It's an Amihama. Excuse me. Yes? Which way is Amihama? Amihama? That's the harbor. Harbor. I haven't gone there in a while, but if you turn right onto the main street, there's a bus that goes there. Where's Amihama? The harbor. There's a bus stop. Thank you. Just who are you? Don't you know that blackmail is way uncool? Thinks you stuff, eh? Eh, Mio Hazuki from Suka High. <laughs> Hazuki? Yeah. So what? I ain't afraid of him. I can take this geek. God! <laughs> Dorosan! <laughs> You wait, damn. Oh, you've had it now. Ouch. Oh, oh, pretty tough after all. What? what? I have a question. Sure, what is it? Warehouse number eight, where is it? Yeah, yeah. Down the street, there's a new warehouse district. Turn right, and number eight should be there. So it's straight, and to the right. That's it. Well, uh, time for us to go.
Wait a minute. Hey, you're not authorized. You can't be here without authorization. I wonder if there's another way in. An open window. I'll need to boost myself up there. There must be some information here. I hear voices. Is someone there? When you look at this invoice, the address is wrong. So it is. I've asked them a million times to get it right. Yeah, it says right here, Old Warehouse District. What are they thinking? Can you call over to the old warehouse number eight? Okay, got it. So there's another warehouse number eight. I'll need to find the old warehouse district. Have you heard of the old warehouse district? The old warehouse district? No, never heard of it, man. Really? Do you know anyone who might know about it? Maybe Hisaka-san can help you. Hisaka-san? She sells lunch boxes near the warehouses. She's way over there. I see. I'll ask her. Hisakusa. Ryo. I need to get to the old warehouse district, but... The old warehouse district? It's just up the street. Great. Thank you very much. Hey, you! 
This area is prohibited. No unauthorized personnel. Get out now! Gotta wait till tonight. Sis? Hi, Mai. What is it? Let me some money. No way. Why not? Come on, lend me some. I said no. I know you'd only waste it. Prude! See if I ask you any more. Mai? <sighs> He's like a son. Hi, Dil. What's wrong? Mai's hanging with a bad crowd and treating our family bad. She wasn't like that before. Really? Yo, could you talk to her? She won't listen to me at all. Me? Yes, considering you've known her since she was young. Please, talk to her. I'll try. Really? It'd help me out. Okay. She's somewhere in the harbor, behind the warehouses. I'll go check. Stay out of here. How'd that bum get in here anyway? No idea. Are you all right? Yeah. Young man, sure's a cold day, eh? Don't suppose you'd buy an old man a can of coffee, eh? I guess I'll take this over to him. Here. Oh. Oh. That's so warm. <laughs> Much obliged, young man. Mister, where do you live? In this here harbor. Long about three years, I reckon. Really? Well, take care of yourself. doing? Mike, your sister's worried about you. Let's go home. Who the hell is this? Screw off, asshole! Kiss off! 
not so bright, are you? Bastard! I'm gonna kick your ass! Let me go! You shouldn't play with stuff like this. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not going to preach to you, Mai. But you shouldn't treat your sister that way. Not family. Yo. How did it go, Dio? Not sure, but it's her decision. By the way, Hisaka-san. What is it? Do you know the old warehouse district? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a bit far. It's just up the street. I have to go make a delivery there now. Really? Yes, to the security office there. The security office? Hisaka-san? I could make the delivery for you. Oh, really? That'd be a great help. They've already paid. All right. But... What? There are only 10 security guards, but they always order 12 meals. I wonder why. Two extra meals? Well, here it is, Ryo. Excuse me. Hoko Hoko lunches? Huh, you! I have a delivery. Twelve lunches? Oh, uh, yeah. Just put them there. Okay. You're on duty in the new warehouse district from 8 p.m. too? Yeah. Man, guess we'll be short-handed here again. As if the night shift isn't busy enough. Hey, you're still here? If you're done, go on, get out. Yes. Between 8 and 9 p.m., that's my chance. Isaka-san, I'm done. Have any trouble finding it? Not really. You've been a big help. Thank you, y'all. Anytime. One game, 100 yen. Maybe I'll play it a bit.
Yeah. Last one. All right. The best. Should I play more? That's enough for now. Nozomi, what's up? I want to talk to you about something. Can we meet? Yeah. At Sakura Gaoka Park? I'll be waiting. All right. Ryo! Nozomi, what's the matter? Sorry to call you out. It's okay. I had to talk with you alone. But with all the problems you've been having... Is it so important? For me, yes. Do you have time to talk? Yes, but... I can't stay long. I know. You see, I... I'd wanted to wait until things settled down before I told you. But I can't wait any longer. I just can't... Can't hold it in. I'm sorry. Nozomi... It's about my feelings for you, but... 
If I don't tell you now, I feel like I'll miss my chance to. Has something happened? Last night, my mom called from Canada. My father is insisting that I return. So you're leaving soon. I don't know when, but I can't go without letting you know how I feel. I know. Huh? But right now, I I don't really know how I feel. I understand. When you're ready, tell me. I will. I'm sorry. I called you out. Nozomi, don't forget to say goodbye. <clears throat> See you. Sure not to waste this. Drink up. It's good. It's drinking! Thanks a lot, Ryo. I'll bring you more another time. Me too. Hello there. Hi, Rio. Fukusan called here for you. Maybe he's looking for you. Haha, <laughs> that was just an excuse to talk to Akemi. Get out. It's not like that. <laughs> I've had it with men. Quit lying, girl. 
So, what did Folk Song want? Oh, yeah. He said friends of yours are waiting at your house. Probably Naoki. I'm on my way. I need to get home. I'm back. Good! Now Yuki and Ichiro are here to see you. Really? And... What? Um... Akemi from Yokosuka Bar. Did she say anything about me? No, nothing. Oh, really? <sighs> yo, don't yo me. What's with you, man? What are you talking about? You. Fukusan is worried about you, man. He sent to check up on you. Everything is cool. We know you like to do things alone. But we're old friends. I know, I know. But I really am okay. Well, you do seem better than I thought. If you get in trouble, let us know. Okay, I will. Seriously, don't forget. Okay. Later. See ya. Thank you, Inesa. She likes it. Drink a lot and get better.
Hello. Oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, now's my chance. Huh? There's some writing. Warehouse number six. No, not here. Security guards. I can't let them catch me. Yes, this is warehouse number eight. Wait, Guizang. What? Master Chen. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes, Ryo Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yonda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole? It was stolen? Yes, the man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di. Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yo Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes, he used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Zhu Yuanda regarding this boy's father. But... But... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh? I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Yes, when I do, I'll return. From now on, telephone beforehand. And remember the password. Um, Ine-san? Yes, what is it? Well, about that day, have you remembered anything? No, and I do not want to think about it. 
I get chills thinking about it even now. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara-san was looking for you. Huh? Fukuhara-san is? I have to be sure not to waste this. What is it, Fuxa? I'm sorry. I told Ine-san. What did you tell her? I told her what you're doing. I told her everything I know. You what? I just couldn't help myself. And Ine-san needed to know. Fuxa. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Fuxa, do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. Really? Ine-san might know something about it, though. Okay, let's go ask her. Ah, Ine-san. Fuku-san talks very loud, doesn't he? Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. We were talking? Yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but... I feel like I'm letting your father down. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when... Azuki-sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop. I have a lot in common. Our parents died on the same day. Ryo! Oh, Nozomi. Ah. What were you talking about? Nothing. You always say nothing. You never tell me anything anymore. It's not like that. It's just... I understand. But you need to talk to me, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself. See ya.
No way. You're working with Landy? If I was. Why, you... Continue, then I'll fail as your bodyguard. A bodyguard? Father told me to guard you. What? Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You still don't realize your role, do you? If Lan Di gets that mirror, no one can stop him. Hurry and find that mirror. Before they suspect anything. <laughs> Landisama! The Phoenix Mirror? <laughs> Nozomi. Making any progress? Yeah. I found something my father left for me. Your father? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madame Butterfly, don't you? You... Your Hazuki Sensei's... Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father... Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh yes, it was very important, so I put it here.
he'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. Buksan. Yes? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design? It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? The snow ring, the two stars, and a sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks.
That shape, why is that here? What is this for? Is it some kind of switch? Okay. Why is that here? What's this slot for? Okay. Oh. Wow, so it was a switch. I wonder where this leads. I can use the light if I put a ball in. Now I just need to flip the switch. The stab armor? It looks like the name of a move. These are all dried out. I can still use it. Hmm, what's that? Hey, it looks like a talisman. What could that talisman mean? Where's the mirror? These scratches must be from the shells. Huh? That wall, the color's slightly different.
different sounds. This is it. Can I break the wall with this axe? Or there might be another switch. Ha! Ha! This is the Hazuki family crest. This box! Got it! It's the Phoenix Mirror. Ryo-san, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix Mirror? It's kinda creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. Ryo... Ryo-san, stop it, please! You think it could be cursed? No, I don't think it's cursed. Huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous! Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious! Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Excuse me. Oh, Ryo. Is this a good time? What's on your mind? I want to show you something. What is it? Uh, this. What an unusual stone mirror. Apparently, it is called the Phoenix Mirror. I see. There is a phoenix carved into it. Is there anything special about this mirror? Hmm. Well, the phoenix is a sacred bird of legend. But uh, this has an ominous feel. Ominous? In China, there are many treasures that contain both good and bad fortune. This is called the secret of yin and yang. The secret of yin and yang? You'd best be careful. This may have something to do with your father's unfortunate death. I don't know if this information helps, but that's all I can tell you. I see. Thank you very much.
Hello. Oh, Hazuki-san. Thanks for your help the other day. But can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the Phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse me. Oh, Hazuki Sensei's boy. I could really use your expertise again. Of course, provided it's something I am familiar with. Is it about the sword handguard from the other day? No, it's about this. Hmm, may I take a look? What a marvelous stone phoenix mirror. Stone mirrors were produced in China during ancient times. This is an exceptional piece. Is there anything unusual about this one? Indeed there is. I think perhaps this type of precious stone is only found in the Guilin region. Precious stone? According to a book I once read long ago, an emperor ordered a sculptor from Guilin to engrave a guardian onto a stone mirror. Guardian? The phoenix on this mirror is a guardian. Is there any connection between the phoenix and the stone from Guilin? Well, I really can't speculate, but... Considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there is a connection. I see. Well then... Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome.
Hello? Father's heaven. Comrades. Oops. Nine dragons. Mother's Earth. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah, I found the mirror. I'll tell my father. Come to warehouse number eight. Sure. I need to go to warehouse number 8. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River Stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. Two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuanda once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? <laughs> what the? Hey! Landy-sama will be pleased! Gui <sighs> Oh! Hazuki! Push that button! I won't forget this!
thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then... And then he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. Huh, how admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered, what would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Guizhang. Master Chen, please wait! You should not waste your life on revenge. <sighs> so, the Chi Yo men? And Landy? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Guess Hong Kong's out. sure not to waste this. I should work on my moves.
Zodiac signs? These are also Chinese. What's this leaf doing here? That's strange. It's not even dry. I think I'll warm up a bit. Folks, uh, you know of any cheap travel agencies? Yeah, there's one in Dabuita, but... Dabuita, hmm... Why you wanna know? I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong. Huh? Hong Kong? Yeah, it appears that Landy went there. But wh what will you tell Ines-san? I'll persuade her. Not alone you won't. I'll help you. Ine-san, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I know it's sudden, but I'm thinking of going on a trip. A trip? Yes. <laughs> Good. You could use a vacation. Oh, yeah. Where are you thinking of going? Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Fuxan. It seems the man who killed Hazuki Sensei is there. Inesan, please give him the money for the trip. Idiot. What are you planning to do, Ryo-san? Oh, nothing. Nothing? This is crazy. I can't let you do this. Well, he has to get there somehow, Inesan. I'm not listening. Inesan. End of discussion. Uh. Uh, huh? Thanks a lot. What? What did I do? You didn't have to tell her everything. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this by myself. Hey, Megumi. Dio, Mimi's disappeared. Has she... She was already gone when I came. Will she come back? Okay, I'll go find her and you wait here, Megumi. Thanks so much, Dio. Did you find Mimi? 
sorry. Not yet. Okay. I'll wait some more. Yeah. Hmm? It must be that kitten. She's close. Maybe down there. Well, there you are. Oh, there. Nozomi. Ryo, wait. Were you looking for her too? Yeah. She's here, Megumi. Oh, really? Mimi, Mimi, where have you been? I was worried. Great, huh? Yep. Thanks a lot, Nozomi. No, not me. Ryo found her. Thanks a lot, Ryo. No problem. Well, I gotta go meet my friend. See ya. Yeah. Here, drink up. It's good. I think she likes the milk. It must taste good. I'll bring more again soon. Great! Thank you, dear. Nozomi. Ryo. Did you decide about Canada? Not yet. But my mom is really trying to persuade me. Really? You're concerned enough to come and ask me, eh? Yeah. Please come in. Hello. A vacation? Yes, to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Well then, have a seat. Are you a student? Yes. With a student discount about... 220,000 yen. Wow. Is there a cheaper one? A one-way fare? I'm afraid we don't sell one-way tickets. The ticket alone's about 198,000. Really? I'll come back. Here, why don't you take this pamphlet with you? 
Think about it, and if you're interested, come back. Okay, thanks. Please come again. I'll go home and talk it over with Fuxan. The Hong Kong Fair, pretty expensive, eh? Just a moment. Yo, son. What's that? This here is my savings. I want you to have it. Fuxan. Well, I I really want to help you out. It's not much, but. Don't hesitate. Smash it open. Are you sure? Yeah. There should be a lot, but hmm. Um, well, one, two, three. Uh, Thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-four yen. Ah, oh, that's still not enough. Yeah, right. Ah, I got an idea. Ida Florist. Ida Florist, Nozomi's place. Yeah, she travels overseas a lot. Maybe she'll have a better idea. Good idea. I'll go ask her. Okay. Ryo, what is it? When you go to Canada, do you always fly? Yeah, usually. Why do you want to know? I'm looking for a cheap way to travel overseas. You're going overseas? Yeah. You know, I can only afford about seventy thousand yen. Seventy thousand? To where? I'm trying to go to Hong Kong. For a trip to Hong Kong? I doubt that's possible. But I only need to get there. Oh, well then, how about going by boat? By boat. Whenever Grandma goes to Canada with us, we gotta travel by boat. Really? Why? Yeah, cause she hates airplanes. Oh, but that's a secret, okay? Yeah. You might be able to find a boat ticket for a fairly cheap price. Yeah, maybe. Thanks.
please come in. I have a question. Sure. What is it? How much would a boat fare be to Hong Kong? I am sorry, but we don't sell any boat tickets here. Do you know of a travel agency that does? It's urgent. I must get to Hong Kong. I know, but please, if you know, tell me. Well, okay. Go out of here and make a right. You'll find Asia Travel Company. But from what I've heard, it's not very good. Okay, take a right, Asia Travel Company. I'll try it. Thank you very much. Be right there. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. What is it? Do you sell boat tickets to Hong Kong here? Boat tickets? Yeah, we do. How much are they? Boat, boat. Uh, here it is. I'll take it. The sooner the better. You gotta pay up before I can arrange it. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'll take care of it. The ticket. Come back in three or four hours. All right. I'll be back in three or four hours then. It's in Chinese. Son, how'd it go? Thanks to you, I can go by boat. Well, I'm just glad I could help. Will you take care of the dojo for me? No problem. I'll take care of everything. Will you? Sure. Books on? What else? I just, I really owe you. Yosan, stop! You're embarrassing me. Well, see you later. Hmm.
Starts. One game, 100 yen. Maybe I'll play it a bit. Not too bad. No good. All right. So close! Last one. Hey, not too bad! I get to play again! So close! I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Hey, not too bad. Last one. No good. The last game. All right. No good. So close. Yeah. This is it. Hey, not too bad. I'm number one.
Game over. Maybe next time. Suzuki, I'm here for my ticket. Huh? What are you talking about? My Hong Kong ticket I've already paid. Paid who? The woman who... Woman? Don't know no woman. What? What kind of scam is this? We don't take kindly to accusations like that. You best learn some manners. Hey you, you'd better watch your mouth. Ah! I've had enough of this. I've already paid my money. Ah, uh, I understand. Allow me to sort this out. You'd better or else. Yes sir, I'll call you first thing tomorrow. <sighs> Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure. Nozomi-san was nice enough to bring those flowers. Nozomi brought these? She even remembered what your father's favorite flowers were. Really? She's such a nice girl.
What's up, Eddie? Eddie, what's up? There's something wrong with Nozomi. Something wrong? Yeah. She's at Sakura Gaoka Park right now, but she seemed really down, so can you go and talk to her? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. Are you crying? No. I'm so embarrassed. Problem with your mom? Yes. She'll stay here, but she says I have to go there. I see. It's her family home. She's worried about Grandma, so she's staying. You don't want to be with your father? It's not that. I just... I don't want to be away from you. I, um... Please, just for a while, stay with me. Christmas is already over. Yeah. We didn't get to celebrate together. Yeah. I'd so wanted to spend Christmas Eve with you. Nozomi? Stay with me for a while. Yeah. I wish time would just stand still. Azuki Dojo. Huh? Asia Travel Company? Okay, just a moment. Huh? Hello? It's Jimmy from Asia Travel. I've got your ticket. I'd like for you to come and pick it up. Please come to the U Arcade on Dobuita at noon. Ryosa, what was that phone call about? The ticket to Hong Kong. 
Oh, I see. I'm going out. Oh, okay. I think I'll warm up a bit. Hi, Megumi. Hi, Edo. Hey, Edo. Guess how old Mimi would be if she were a person? Um, about three years old? Nope. She's about five. Is that so? I looked it up in a book about cats. Good for you. Here, drink up. It's good. She's drinking! She must have been very hungry. Yeah, and she looks real happy. Thank you, Dio. Nozomi. Ryo, let me know if you need any help. Sure.
buy a Hong Kong ticket, did you? <laughs> yeah, but you are not going to Hong Kong. <laughs> Do you work for Landy? Me? Work? For Landy-sama? <laughs> That's my dream! What do you want with me? You know about Julianda! Tell me all you know! Landy-sama hates Julianda, so I'll be rewarded for this information! <laughs> so you know about Landy. Just who the hell is he? I'll only tell you if you prove stronger than me. Jimmy's one of them. Jimmy. What's your problem? Damn! Stop! Oh. What? Ah! What the? Ugh. Get out of my way! 
Give me my ticket. I don't have it anymore! Cut the crap! Uh, I'm sorry! Whoa. I'm sorry! An employee ran off with the money! Please don't hurt me! I got a wife and kids! That's your problem. I still don't have the ticket I paid for! Here! Take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. Ah! Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? Uh, Where are they? I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me! The... the harbor... Who's their boss? I... I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you weren't there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor... Um, can I help you? I want to get a job in the harbor. A job? I'm sorry, but we have more than enough workers right now. I see. 
Do you know any company accepting applications for workers? Are you still in high school? Yes. Very few companies hire high school students at the harbor, you know. Is that so? I saw someone your age recently. He was looking for work too. Was he a high school student? I think so, but he looked pretty delinquent. He was around warehouse number twelve. I see. job here. What should I do? So wanna be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man. Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, 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 wait, hold up. I'll be man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Ooh, well, mm. okay. Meet me at noon tomorrow in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. Twelve noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya.
Ryo. Nozomi. What happened? Hmm? Something's happened, hasn't it? No. A fight? No, it's not that. Please, you gotta stay out of trouble. I'm fine. Yo, but what if something happened to you? Don't worry. Promise me you'll take care. Yeah, see you later. Hi, Megumi. What's up? Look! Up there! Because her leg is healed. Hmm. But I'm worried she can't come down. Don't worry. Cats like high places. Really? Oh! Oh, my! Her leg seems fine. It's no problem, Megumi. Okay. See ya. Nozomi. Hi, Ryo. Is that medicine? Megumi was worried, so... Right. Hi, Nozomi! Her leg's okay now! That's good. Guess we don't need this. Well, gotta get back to the shop. Yo, son, spar one round with me. Sure, I'll take you on. Bring it on! Let's give it all we got, eh? How about this? That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? That was a good one. That's it for today. Let's continue next time. I look forward to next time.
Ine-san is always there for me. I should be grateful. Megumi. Hi, Ado. Here, drink up. It's good. I think she likes the milk. It must taste good. I'll bring more again soon.
I'll take this. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Sure, draw a raffle ticket. No win. Try again another time. Starts. One game, 100 yen. I'll give it a try. I'm getting it. All right. All right. All right. Last one. I'm getting it. Should I play more? Maybe next time. One game, 100 yen. Maybe I'll play it a bit. Hey, not too bad. No, good. So close. Yeah. This is it. All right. I get to play again. So close. No good. All right. No good. This is the last dart. No good. The last game. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right. Hey. 
Hey, not too bad. This is it. Hey, not too bad. Game over. I'll quit. Starts. One game, 100 yen. I'll play it once. Alright! I'm getting it! Alright! I'm getting it! This is it! Alright! No more darts! That's enough for now. You a job, man? Really? Thanks. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro. What you say? That'd be the job I found. Shut your lip, woman. Hello, Mai. Hi, Edio. Hey. You two know each other. Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, oh, pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? Ow! So, where should I go? Be at the Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Just ask for Yara-san. You have an appointment. 2 p.m., Yara-san, Alpha Trading Office. Thanks a lot. See ya! Excuse me. What do you want? Are you Yara-san? Yeah, that's me. My son at the lunch stand mentioned me? Oh, yes. My from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Yes. You, uh... Ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Oh, uh, well. Break something, it'll be deducted. Yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. 
I see. Mark, show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey, man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift, it's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard. Okay, you ready? Let's start your lesson. First turn the wheel either left or right. Good, that's it. Next, press the accelerator. Okay, good. Now back up. Different from accelerating. Yeah, that's it. Finally try raising and lowering the lift. Okay, not too bad. Now, you try moving that crate. Take that crate to warehouse number three, just there. First slide the fork under the crate. Then lift the crate and go. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now it's your turn. Place the crate within the grid marking the floor of the warehouse. Okay, for the rest of the day, you'll be training, all right? Take the rest of the crates to warehouse number three. Okay. I gotta get back to work, so finish the rest yourself. No problem.
today. Oh, good work. Thank you. You're getting used to the forklift. I suppose so. About your wage. You start at 300 yen per crate. There's a quota every day, so don't go slacking off. Yes, sir. If you do good enough and meet quota, I'll give you a raise. I understand. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Yo, Mark, I need you to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., okay? Yeah, sure. There's something we gotta do before work. Before work, really? Yeah, man. You'll see when you get here. Oh, and don't be late. Okay. Um, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ah, those thugs, huh? Do you know about them? They fight and mug people. Heard a rumor that they deal drugs, too. Maybe that punk who tried to mug me was one of the Mad Angels. Uh, maybe. Thanks. I'm out of here, Mark. Hey, good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know a group called the Mad Angels? Oh, no! They are very dangerous, man. Ryo, don't get mixed up with them. Do you know anything else? They ride motorcycles around and attack people. Lots of homeless at the harbor get attacked and beaten by them. That's vicious, huh? Real crazy mothers. Really? What's grooving, bro? You know about the Mad Angels? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud. Why not? Just because. You know about the Mad Angels? Hey! Oh, bro! Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here. Why? I ain't privy to say. I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but but I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you. Oh, about the Mad Angels? I done told you, bro. Don't say that so loud. You're really asking for a world of hurt. Really? See you around. You bet, bro! I've got plenty of time to ask around.
Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. I need to go to warehouse number 8. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A Chinese martial arts scroll. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor. Powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. It's a different style from mine, so it's not clear. But if you remember what I read while practicing, perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. According to Guiza, it's a hand move. Maybe I should ask around about the Mad Angels. like a goody-goody little shit. All right, then. We'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. You give the signal. 
start when this can hits the ground. Here we go. Take that. That's not fair. I'm just playing with you. Hey, you. I won! Damn! We won't forget this, boy! The all. If there is anything I can do, just ask me, okay? Sure. Nozomi. Ryo, have you started your job yet? Yeah. Suppose that means we won't get to see each other much. Oh, yeah. But why all of a sudden? Well, it's for a good reason. Is it?
Yeah. Sorry about the other day. I shouldn't have... It wasn't a problem. Okay. Nozomi? Really? It, don't worry about it. Okay, thanks. Well, bye now. Yeah. Morning. My new job starts today. Good morning, everyone. Morning. morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the forklifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah. yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Ready, go! Finish! Pretty damn good for a rookie. Here's your first place prize. Thanks. 
Hope you work as well as you race. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? I don't know any chin. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the mad angels. Yeah? Excuse me? Yeah? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? Look here, son. Don't go trying to get me mixed up in anything. You hear? I see. Is now a good time? Yeah? Um, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? What's that? It's nothing. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Ask me again some other time. Um... Excuse me. Not now. Hisakusa. We are. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Mad? What? 
I haven't a clue. What is it? If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'll be on my way. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Ask me again some other time. Goro. Yo, bro! You know about the mad angels? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud! Why not? Just because! You know about the mad angels? Hey! Oh, bro! Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here! Why? I ain't privy to say! I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but... But I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you! Oh, about the Mad Angels? I done told you, bro! Don't say that so loud! Extreme bad news, that gang! Really? See you around. You bet, bro! Excuse me, do you have a minute? Sorry, come back later, will ya? I see. Excuse me, what do you want? I want to ask about the Mad Angels. Oh no, don't do that. I don't have anything to do with them. I see. Thanks. I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ryo? You in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No, man! Do not go and get mixed up with them! They're killers! Honey, son. Hi, Ryo. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? They ride motorcycles at night around here. At night? Ryo. Is something going on between you and them? Uh, no, nothing. I know you're strong, but I worry about you. Um... <laughs> hey, rookie. Used to driving the forklift? Work real hard and make lots of money. It's already this late? Was it number 18? Hey, 
boy. You working hard, eh? What? You ain't paid your insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? What insurance? I said pay up, boy, right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. You are gonna regret that decision. Let's get him! you guys no uh, hey wait Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 350 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. to the hard-working man! Oh. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak! This here harbor, Goro knows it all! So you know about the Mad Angels? Oh, uh, I... Speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh, man! Must have had me a bad ache this morning! Gotta hit the can, my man! Oh, hope I can make it in time! Oh! So you know about them. Bro, that name! Please don't say it so loud! Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man! It's taboo around here! There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking. No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels. Much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what'll it be? 
You are mine or not? Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. Hmm, that's fine. I see you've learned the basic form. I've got it now. You have yet to master the move. Perhaps you should practice more. No, that's enough. Fine, I won't push you any harder. You've only learned the basic movement. You'll need to practice to master it. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Let's not talk about them. Stay away from them, Bill. All right. Uh, about the Mad Angels? Why is it you're always asking about them? Are they messing with you? Huh? Nah, never mind. <laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. Suppose I show you rather than tell you. Let's see you try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch! You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Okay then, here we go. Why am I missing? <laughs> this was a real fight. I had just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow step. So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yes, please teach me. 
First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. All right. Hmm, that ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Hmm, look at that. Well there, youngin, you're quite skilled. Reminds me of me at your age. Nah, no, I'm not that good. Got that touch, you do. How about a bit more practice? No, I think I'm all right. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes... Uh... A clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> Ever need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Be sure and practice daily. I've got plenty of time to ask around. Goro. What's growing, bro? You know about the mad angels? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud. Why not? Just because. You know about the mad angels? Hey! Oh, bro, didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here. Why? I ain't privy to say. I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but, but I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you. Oh, about the Mad Angels? I done told you, bro. Don't say that so loud. You're really asking for a world of hurt. Really? See you around. You bet, bro.
Um. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? Look here, son. Don't go trying to get me mixed up in anything. You hear? I see. Um, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ah, those thugs, huh? Do you know about them? They fight and mug people. Heard a rumor that they deal drugs too. Maybe that punk who tried to mug me was one of the Mad Angels. Uh, maybe. Thanks. Nozomi. Ryo, you know, I heard from Hisaka-san that the harbor is a real dangerous place. That's not true. I heard you got into a fight there. I'm fine. So... Yeah.
Yusan, your home. Oh, hi, Nesan. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry, I'll always be home by eleven o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but yes, I understand. Yeah, I wanted to thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. Your father always liked those kinds of flowers. I'm sure he's grateful. Okay. No, Zomi. Oh, sorry, but I think my grandmother's calling me. Sure. Bye then. Yeah. I'm ready. Today, you got to take this cargo to warehouse number three. Here's the map. Don't forget the quota. No problem. Okay. Good luck. Mark. Hey, Dio. Yeah. How you liking work? It's okay, I suppose. Well, I expect a lot from you, Dio. Right. I'll do my best. Uh, Dio, you got any brothers or sisters? No. 
I don't really have a family anymore. Oh, um, sorry to hear that. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Rio? You in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No, man. Do not go and get mixed up with them. They'll kill us. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? I'd like to ask you about the Mad Angels. What for you want to know about them? Well... You get mixed up with them and you're just asking for trouble. Do you know anything about them? That gang's done growing in recent years, you see. They're in league with some big Chinese cartel. Looking to take over Yokosuka. A Chinese cartel? They call the shots around this here harbor. They don't take kindly to interference by others, so watch yourself. Know anything else about that gang? I know you do well not to get yourself involved with them. What would your family do if something happened to you? But... I... You get mixed up with them and you're just asking for trouble. That's all I got to say about it. Goro. What's grooving, bro? You know about the mad angels? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Working hard, eh, bro? Why are you shouting? Don't you know, bro? You don't say that name so loud. Why not? Just because. You know about the Mad Angels? Hey! Oh, bro! Didn't I ask you not to say that so loud? That kind of talk is taboo around here. Why? I ain't privy to say. I don't know what you're trying to find out about, but but I wouldn't be as indiscreet as you're being if I's you. Oh, about the Mad Angels? I done told you, bro. Don't say that so loud. You're really asking for a world of hurt. Really? See you around. You bet, bro. Hisakusa. Will. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Mad? What? I haven't a clue. What is it? If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'll be on my way. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Yeah? Do you know about the Mad Angels? What's that? I hear they're a gang that controls the harbor workers. Sounds like a dangerous group to me. Don't know nothing about them, though. I see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ask me again some other time. Um... I'm sorry. Not now.
Um, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ah,、uh, those thugs, huh? Do you know about them? They fight and mug people. Heard a rumor that they deal drugs too. Maybe that punk who tried to mug me was one of the Mad Angels. Uh, maybe. Thanks. Is now a good time? Yeah. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? What the hell is it? It's nothing. Excuse me. Um. Excuse me. Not now. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Ask me again some other time. It's already this late. Warehouse number three. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ha! Move it. You hurt us. You're fired. Ha! Nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever. Cut it out! Jokes on you, schoolboy. That's it. You're mine. It's showtime. Thank、you
Number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 400 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. You been training? Yeah. That's great. Now then, I can show you how to use it. Use it? The shadow step move? It's rather hard to do, so I'll only do it once, so pay attention. Before, I just showed you how to slide behind your opponent. Once you're behind your opponent, strike the back of the neck. An unprotected neck's weaker than you'd expect. An accurate strike can paralyze. Strike just after sliding past your opponent. If you practice, you'll get it. I understand. Thank you. Warehouse number 17. All the way to the back of the docks, where the ships are moored. Oh yeah? You had a discussion with Mai, didn't you bro? Yeah, I did, but how did you know about that? <laughs> Goro knows everything that goes on around the harbor. Usually, but this time, I heard it from Mai. I was kinda in the area at the time. I see. Thanks.
Hisakasa. We are. Where is warehouse number 17? That way, on the far side of the harbor. Mai goes over there all the time. Thank you very much. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. No problem. Oh, careful. So, looking for your brother. Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Killed by the Mad Angels. Why would the Mad Angels kill your brother? It appears he may have leaked some important information. Is that why they... Probably. At least as far as I could tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? Was the guy who heard the information killed, or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dill. I heard the information was about a black market deal with some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The Chi Yu men? Excuse me. What? Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? The Mad Angels? What's that? They're a gang of thugs. Do you know where they are? Let me see. I hear talk of some gang who make trouble in the harbor at night. I see. That's them. Rumor is they all ride motorcycles. That's the extent of what I know. I see. You could probably find them at night, right?
Kokoro. Yo, bro! Have you seen any of the mad angels around? Whoa, bro! Like I said, don't say that name out loud! You know, right? Tell me. Ah, bro! Well, I ain't got no choice, I guess. Motorcycles, they ride around the harbor at night. At night, huh? Oh, about the mad angels? They come out at night on motorcycles. But bro, you got to stay away from them, you hear? They're real bad, I tell ya. At night? Thanks. See ya. Yeah, you bet. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the mad angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? I should look around a bit more. Excuse me. Oh, I'm in a hurry now. I gotta get a move on, or someone else will get the best spot. Um, I want to ask you about the mad angels. Word among the fishermen is that they're a nasty bunch. Yeah, I guess so. See you. What the hell you want? Have you seen any of the mad angels around the harbor? Never seen them.
Nozomi. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. What's wrong? I was just thinking about something. My mom called. It's been a while since we talked. Anyway, we had a fight. Really? Is your mom still over there? Yeah, she's still in Vancouver. Even though she worries so much, at least she's let me make my own decisions. Kind of like Ine, so. Yeah. Nozomi. Ryo, great. I wanted to talk to you. What? I feel like I'm being watched. Watched? I might be imagining it, but you know what it feels like to be watched, don't you? Well, if you do, call me. I'll be right there. But it's okay. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I'm sure it's nothing. Sorry if I've worried you. No, you should always tell me if something is worrying you. Okay, thanks. Well, bye now. Bye then. I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. Today's quote is written on the map. No problem. Okay, get to it then.
Yeah. Let me take a picture of you two. No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. Which do you want? Yo. Oh, this one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. What? I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Bye then, Ryo. Nozomi. Starts. One game, 100 yen. I'll give it a try. I'll play some more. Yeah. 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 I'm getting it. This is the last dart. All right. No more darts. That's enough for now.
back to work. Was it number 18? job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 450 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Have you seen any of the mad angels around? Whoa, bro! Like I said, don't say that name out loud! You know, right? Tell me. Ah, bro! Well, I ain't got no choice, I guess. Motorcycles, they ride around the harbor at night. At night, huh? Um, I want to ask you about the mad angels. Word among the fishermen is that they're a nasty bunch. Yeah, I guess so. See you. Mark, have you seen any of the mad angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Hisakusa. Will. Have you ever seen any of the Mad Angels? Mad? Well, I don't think I've ever seen them. Sorry, I have no idea. I see. Excuse me. Can I help you? Have you seen any of the Mad Angels members lately? The Mad Angels? I only hear all kinds of bad rumors about them. Them punks are nothing but trouble. When was that? Oh, round about last week, I'd say. On the day I had to work overtime. They were riding around on motorcycles. Motorcycles? Mm-hmm. It was noisy as hell. Anyway, after sunset, you'd best get on home before they come back. Excuse me. What? Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? The Mad Angels? What's that? They're a gang of thugs. Do you know where they are? Let me see. I hear talk of some gang who make trouble in the harbor at night. I see. That's them. Rumor is they all ride motorcycles. That's the extent of what I know. I see. You could probably find them at night, right? About that gang? They like to gather in the harbor. Gotcha.
Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know where the Mad Angels hang out? I don't know. Rio, I heard a rumor that you are going after the Mad Angels. I've got my reasons. Trust me. No, man. Do not go and get mixed up with them. If you know anything about them, please, Tom, you've got to tell me. Sorry, but I don't know, man. Really? Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right, already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? Starts. One game, 100 yen. I'll give it a try. enough for now. Sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this stray off now. I'm gonna get him. Oh, shit! Ah. 
smooth move. You ain't so bad, punk. Why you? But your time's up. You wish. No one takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Get him. your face. Come on! and Chi uh, Ming connected. Uh, I, I don't know. What? Wait! I don't know if he's Chi Ming, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landy, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me!
Nozomi. Hi, Ryo. Saved up enough money for your trip? No, not yet. You're going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. It's so different from Vancouver. What's it like there? Beautiful. Surrounded by lots of nature. Right. Well, I'm still on shift, so... See you later. Nozomi? Leo, the photo is good, eh? Yeah, but I don't think you should come to the harbor. What? Why? The harbor's dangerous. It's all right. I'll avoid the bad parts. Don't come at all. Why not? I'm sorry. I shouldn't be rude. I know you're looking out for me. It's okay, but please stay away from the harbor. I understand. Leo, stay out of trouble. I will. Gotta get going. Gotcha. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. The quote is written on it. No problem. This one's a bit further, so don't get lost.
time, eh? Hey, Dio. What's up? Hey, man. You got a girl? Huh? Uh, I don't really have time for stuff like that. Well, you at least got your eye on someone, right? Mark, I'm... Dio, I don't know what you plan on getting out of life, but I'll tell you, it sure is a great thing to have yourself a woman. Mark. Mark. You should go on a date once in a while. I know what you're getting at, but... I wouldn't want someone important to me to get involved in my problems. Dio, you're a... Tom. Hi, Dio! I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Do you know anything about some deal they're making? No, man. The Mad Angels are very dangerous. I need to find out about them no matter what. Does it have something to do with your father? Sure. If you know anything about that deal they're making, tell me. Sorry, I have no idea. I swear, man. I see. Tom, about that deal the Mad Angels are making? Try asking somewhere else, man. I see. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? About the Mad Angels? I heard a rumor that you're still looking for them. Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? Mm. I did hear something about some large-scale deal happening soon. Have you heard anything else? Well, I don't know none of the details. All right. Goro. Yo, bro! What's up? On patrol, brother! Patrol! Seeing if those nasty bad thugs making trouble in harbor are around! You seem especially happy. <laughs> Speak for yourself! How's work coming? I'm managing. Hang in there, bro! Sure, thanks. See you around. You bet, bro! If something comes up, be sure to call on old Goro any time. Trust me, bro. Me, I'd do anything for you. Yeah. See ya. You bet, bro. Hisakusa. We all. Do you know about a deal going down with the Mad Angels? Deal? What deal? Don't go getting yourself mixed up in any strange dealings. No, I'm not. Really? If you say so, just don't get involved in anything dangerous. Yeah. About the deal. Sorry, I don't know anything about it. But Ryo, be careful. What? It just sounds so dangerous. Don't worry, I'm okay. Excuse me. Yes? Have you seen any suspicious guys around at night? Are you Hazuki? Yes, I am. Someone's been asking me about you. Who was it? They looked like a couple of thugs to me. Is that so? Okay. Um, 
I'm sorry. I'm a bit too busy now. Excuse me. What? I want to ask about a deal the Mad Angels are arranging. Know anything about it? A deal? What's this about a deal? Uh, nothing. Um, I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Word among the fishermen is that they're a nasty bunch. Yeah, I guess so. See you. Do you have a minute? What? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ah, those scumbags? Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. You know those morons dump garbage into the sea? On top of that, shouting something about how they gotta hurry the deal up and all. I really wish they'd keep it down. Okay. Um... What is it? Have you ever seen them? Uh, I know who you mean. Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. You know those morons dump garbage into the sea? On top of that, shouting something about... I really... I see. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, Ryo. So, hey, what's your girlfriend like? Uh, I don't really have one now. You know, I really like women that are intelligent as well as cute, sweet, and honest. Yeah, those are good qualities. I just know that there's someone like that out there for me somewhere. I hope you find her. Hello? Father's heaven. Nine dragons. Mother's earth. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Come if you must. Back to work. Warehouse number 18. Okay. So you showed, eh? You guys again. What's your problem? Let it be you! Ah! Whoa! Hey, boy! Ah! 
Oh no! Hey, no escape, boy! You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend? What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. Oh. Good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 500 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Ja. That is soon. Long Ja? Best I can figure, it's some mad angels black market deal. Makes sense. They've been on edge lately. Long Ja. When's it supposed to happen? Yo, I got some big news. Huh? I overheard Tony and Smith saying that a loan Ja is going down soon. Really? When's it gonna happen? Maybe within the next few days. I see. Be careful, Dio. Yeah, you too, eh? No problem. I'm cool, but I'm worried about you, Dio. The date of the long Ja, someone must know. Yeah. But finding out ain't going to be easy. To them, it's like a really big deal, you know? Maybe the only option is to ask them directly. Well, maybe, but Dio... Believe me, I know. But I'm prepared to take the risk. Dio... Hey, mister. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. 
Yes. I know you want revenge, but if something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on, oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When used up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. Goro. What's growing, bro? Got something I want to ask. Sorry, brother. I'm a bit busy now. Got it. Sorry. Do you have a minute? Yes. Have you heard the term Long Jaw around the harbor? Long Jaw? What's that? I heard some mad angels talking something about it. Can't imagine what it is. I have no idea. Is that so? Excuse me. Huh? Have you seen any suspicious looking people around here? Suspicious looking? I saw a couple of foreigners I haven't ever seen around here before. Saw them walking around near the harbor entrance. I see. Do you have a minute? Yes. Have you heard the term Long Jaw around the harbor? Long Jaw? What's that? I heard some mad angels talking something about it. Maybe it's some kind of code name. Sorry, I don't know what it is. Is that so? Um, excuse me. Can I help you? Do you know anything about some deal the mad angels are making? Don't know about stuff like that. I see. Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I did see me a couple of foreigners snooping around. They looked mighty suspicious to me. Maybe they got something to do with it. Suspicious looking foreigners? A pair? About the foreigners? They sure look suspicious, they did. Uh-huh. About the foreigners? I think they done gone. Uh-huh. Excuse me. What is it? Have you heard about some deal the Mad Angels are arranging? Well, I wouldn't know about that, you know. So you haven't seen any of them around? Nope, but I saw a couple of sailors acting kind of suspicious. The harbor is full of all kinds of sailors, don't you know? Where did you see them? Over by the harbor lounge. Excuse me. Hmm. I ain't feeling so good right now. Try me later. All right. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Have you heard of the Long Jaw? 
Longza? The Mad Angels guys call the deal by that name. I need to find out when they're making this Longza. Sorry, I don't know anything, man. Really? I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please go on in. you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A scroll, and it's in Chinese. Oh, fierce tiger, thou art ruler of the forest, the bravest of character. As tranquil as the most majestic of mountains, as swift as a bolt of lightning, as violent as an earthquake, jolting the great earth. Show no mercy. With twin fangs strike and rush up Moon Mountain. Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction can understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea, but I'd assume if he had the scroll, then he received instruction from the original master. My father? I'd hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. I should look around a bit more. Excuse me. What is it? Have you heard about some deal the Mad Angels are arranging? Well, I wouldn't know about that, you know. So you haven't seen any of them around? Nope, but I saw a couple of sailors acting kind of suspicious. The harbor is full of all kinds of sailors, don't you know? Where did you see them? Over by the harbor lounge. About those two guys you saw? They were whispering about something. I see. Um, excuse me. Can I help you? 
Do you know anything about some deal the Mad Angels are making? Don't know about stuff like that. I see. Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I did see me a couple of foreigners snooping around. They looked mighty suspicious to me. Maybe they got something to do with it. Suspicious looking foreigners? A pair? Um... What the hell you want? Do you know when that Mad Angel deal is going to take place? If I did, I'd be a dead man! Excuse me. I got something on my mind, you see. Come on back later. Nozomi. Ryo. When are you leaving for Canada? I don't know yet. It's up to my parents. But I think it'll be soon. Right. Yeah. We'll stay in touch, won't we? Yeah.
Hello? Nozomi? Pyo? What? Eri, Noriko and I are talking about going on a trip. Oh. Now Yuki and Ichiro are all going too. Why don't you come along? Oh. Oh. You're too busy, are you? I understand. Uh, no. Bye. Bye. Gotcha. Today you gotta move cargo between warehouses. Gotcha. First take a crate from here over to warehouse number 8 and unload it there. Then take a crate from warehouse number 8 to warehouse number 18. You know where that is, right? I take this to warehouse number 8. Then I take number 8 cargo to warehouse number 18. Yep. But careful you don't get mixed up. The quote is written on the map. I got it. Lunchtime, eh? Hey, bro! Hey, my... Goro? Bro, me, I'm gonna settle down and go straight. Gets me a real job, work hard and marry her. Marry? But she's too young. Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. But to Goro? Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro... <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. See ya!
darts. One game, 100 yen. Maybe I'll play it a bit. No good. All right. No good. I missed. Last one. So close. I want a free game. Yeah. No good. All right. Yeah, that's the way. Last one. All right. The last game. No good. Not bad. Not bad. I missed. This is it. No good. Game over. Guess I'll try again. All right. No good. I'm getting it. No good. Last one. No good. All right, a free game. No good.
No good. So close. So close. Last one. No good. No more darts. Maybe next time. Back to work. First take the cargo to warehouse number 8, then go to warehouse number 18. It's them. Got a question. You know about the long jaw? What? What did you say? You know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, wait. Boy! Hey, Bob, help! I'll get rid of him! You take the ladder! Okay! Ha. Watch it! Yeah. When's the long jaw? I... I don't know. I'll break your arm. Stop! I ain't lying. Only the mad angel's boss knows. Who is the boss? Ah! Uh, it's... T t terry Terry? Please! Don't tell no one. I told you. Or... Or they'll kill me. Please! Where is he? I... I don't know. Terry's real careful. Even I don't know where he's at! <sighs> Got your pay. Here. Thank you. No, wait. Yes? Someone came to see you earlier. Really? Yes, a young man in a suit. He asked me to give this to you. Thanks. Hmm? The mad angels are after you. Beware. Guizan. Ah, the long jaw. Maybe Master Chin knows about it. Hazuki. 
Master Chen, is Landy coming for the Long Jaw? Why do you know about Long Jia? I got it out of the Mad Angels. So, is Landy coming? Landy has nothing to do with the Long Jia. Only the lowest Chiyo men members are involved. But Terry and his gang have arranged transport for Landy to a ship. He's acting as a guide for Landy so as to ingratiate himself with the Chiyo men. Terry and his gang already know about you. And that you're trying to stop the Long Jaw. The items we deal in are expensive. Paintings, calligraphy, antiques, gems. Terry's gang deals in contraband. The next big shipment is drugs. If they get established, our market will be destroyed. If our trade route is disturbed, it will cause trouble for us in China. So, now you see. Go home before you get hurt. I can't do that. Someone as young as you should not be involved. Tell me when the long jaw is. I cannot tell you. But if you can be patient and listen to my counsel, no harm will come to you. Father! As written in the letter to his father, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuanda. I will hear no more of this today. Very well. I'll back off for now. Your father would not have wanted you to throw your life away so senselessly.
No good. Ine-san. Dio-san, I don't wish to meddle, but please don't do anything reckless. Okay, thanks. See you later, Ine-san. Yes. Fuxan. Real son, what I'm going to say may sound strange, but you shouldn't be behaving like this. Yeah. I should go out and get some fresh air. Were you just with Nozomi-san? No. Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san.
Hello? It's real. <laughs> Terry's waiting. Who is this? Yeah, meet us behind warehouse number 17. No, Rio, it's a trap. Nozomi. If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her. I'll give you four hours, or else. Behind warehouse number 17. <laughs> Inesa, I gotta go. Do son. If I don't leave Dobuita by three, I'll never make it. Well, if it isn't Trio. Akimi-san, I need to get to the harbor right away. Do you have any ideas? Hold your horses. There's no need to panic. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, the buses aren't running at this time of night. Do you have a license? I have a motorcycle license. Well, there you go. Now, all you need is a motorcycle. Oh yeah, a motorcycle! It's real. Ah, Dio chan, just a moment. Hey, Rio, what's up? I need a favor. Oh, sure, come on in. Can't, I'm in a hurry. Can I use your motorcycle? My motorcycle? Sure. Cash. Thanks. Don't drive too fast. I won't. Later.
<laughs> Looks like we got a rat, eh? What? The king of the harbor don't like rats. Like a sewer rat, always sniffing around. Think we just let you pass? Nozomi. What's your hurry? Have some fun with us. Got you now. Enough. Oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey, you play with him. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Oh, no, Rio. Nozomi. Are you all right? Yes, I'm sorry, I... It's okay, it's all my fault. Yeah, it's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the tough little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. <laughs> You're the one trying to get information about the long jaw. You're either real brave or you're real stupid. I'm taking this Omi home. Sure, you can. But. It's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Jin's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Jin's around, we won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. Is it a deal? All right. Rio, don't! But one more condition. Oh, yeah? It ain't enough to get the girl back. You take me to Land D. <laughs> this kid's got a death wish! He's got some screws loose! <laughs> what do you say? I know you're the one that guided Landy. Well, 
there's more to school, boy, than meets the eye. You take me to Land D, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget! Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakoska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. Thanks for saving me. Hmm. But I won't let this go. Tom, hey, Ryo, working hard at the harbor today, eh? Yeah, 
What's wrong? You seem kinda blue. No, I'm alright. Okay. Tell you what. You come on by later and let me treat you to lunch, okay? Young man, have a seat. Sure. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to resign. Am I fired? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Why? Uh, you see, there's been a mess of trouble since you started. Now, I know it ain't all your fault, but, well... And? When trouble starts affecting my company, that's a problem. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Mm. You okay? I... I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine now. That's good. Thanks for rescuing me. It was nothing. To me, you're... What? I... You're a really good friend. Oh. 
Thanks, Rio. Yeah. I've got to go. My grandmother needs to use the phone. Sure. Bye now. Nozomi. Ryo, thanks for coming for me. No problem. If you hadn't come to rescue me... Of course I would have. Yeah. Can we double on the motorcycle again? Sure. Really? Yeah. Son, I want to talk to you. What is it, Ine san? About that night, what exactly happened? Be honest with me, please. Ine san, okay, I don't want to lie to you. I'm planning to find the men who killed my father. I don't know if I'll be able to, but please forgive me. I suppose it can't be helped. Huh? I know it's useless to try and stop you. I know you too well. After all, I've known you since you were three years old. Ine-san? Dio-san, just promise me you will return safe and sound. I promise, Ine-san. Look at the time. Hey, Rio! Tom. It's cold. I'll get you some coffee, okay? I don't feel like coffee today. Hey, Rio, look! Tom, what was that leg move? A friend taught me this! It's a tornado kick! You want me to teach you! Yeah, teach me. Okay! It's your lucky day! First, the music! First, I'll teach you the steps. You watch carefully, okay? Step forward, step again, then kick, okay? Very simple, okay? First, try the steps. You take two steps toward me, okay? Man. Who'd think someone could master that kick so quickly? But that's just like you, Rio. Thanks, Tom. No, no, no. This is how it's done, okay? Hmm? Two steps forward, then. First and kick. second kick. This is the real tornado kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> 
You got the rhythm now. Thanks, Tom. That tornado kick is very powerful, okay? This kick is perfect for when you're surrounded by multiple opponents. Do you want to practice longer? No, that's okay. Okay! You mastered the leg move great. You're a good teacher, Tom. Thanks. What's wrong? Um... I got something I need to tell you, Ryo. Tell me what? Tomorrow, I go back to America. What? All of a sudden? Not suddenly. I've been planning to for a while. Tom. Ryo, why are you going on your trip? Uh, I... I bet it has something to do with your father. Yeah, I thought so. Me? I'm going back to my home, and you'll be leaving soon too. Nobody can stop you. Tom. Even though we part ways, you'll still be one of my best friends. You're mine too. Today's the last day for Tom's hot dogs. Get them while you can. Yeah, I'll have one. My friend. I'm here. You sure got guts coming here. This way, follow me. Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here, on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. I'm out of here. Azuki, why are you here? Guizan, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Guizar, <laughs> pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to Land D. You dressed a punk like Terry? Losing. Lose to you? Go down before you get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. 
What? By a kick like that? Huh, <laughs> you call that a kick? Huh! <laughs> So you're serious? You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! <sighs> Alright, Hazuki. Well, come on! You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. Just as I suspected. Hey, can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. You're on. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! Is Trouble your middle name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. Focus!
to a green, eh? That's the Hazuki style? All tuckered out, are we? Watch yourself! Shall I take them all on? That's it! Hey, you okay? Shut up! I'll kill you! Back. This one is mine. This who the hell you think you deal it with? Yeah. I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. Now, where is Lanty? Never give up to you. Tell me! That creepy skinhead, he took him out to the ship. What? Too bad, huh? You, you weren't that bad. You better start swimming. Damn. <laughs> After all that, still didn't get Landy. You're going after him? Well, I just can't give up. But how can I? 
I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Kuisan. What? Thank you. No. That's my line. Yo-san, I was waiting for you. What's up, Fuk-san? I have something for you. Huh? This. It's father when he was young. Who's that with him? I have no idea. Never seen him before. Fuk-san, where'd you get it? Found it in the basement. Really? Why would he keep this down there? Well, night, Ryo-san. Night. Son. Hmm? Here, it's for you. From Ine-san, and it's not much, but from me. Oh. Fuxa. Take care, and come back in one piece.
your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. Thanks to you, the long jaw was thwarted. It was the least I could do. Thank you very much. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it. The diving swallow style should be useful on your journey. What? A style from the Hebei province in use since the Song Dynasty. I will teach you its most sacred move, the swallow flip. Hui Shang. Yes. You utilize your opponent's attack to flip them. First, I will explain the basic form. Watch closely. You take one step backwards to parry the opponent's attack. Then focus power in your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Immediately kick their legs out and flip. In actual combat, you'd strike here. The throw alone won't incapacitate your opponent. First, try to execute the proper form. Shift your weight while taking one step back. Remembering after only one look is the mark of an expert. Next, throw them off balance and kick their legs out to flip. The key is to focus power in your legs exactly when your opponent lunges. Well then, give it a try. Yes, that's the proper form. But to truly master the swallow flip, you must be able to... anticipate your opponent's attack. Guizhang, spar! What? Practice is required to master the attack quickly. You must attack him in earnest. I will. Begin. <sighs> Excellent. Well executed. You have more ability than I thought. No, sir. You're a superior instructor. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? No, thank you. I think I can manage now. Very well. Then there is nothing more that I can do. I am in your debt. You're going? Yes. Look out! Quisan! Behind you! You're not going to Hong Kong because the Great Chai will defeat you!
What are you doing here? Where's Landy? The Landy Sama is sailing to sea on a ship bound for Hong Kong. So, Landy's already left for Hong Kong. about my son. At the moment, I don't know where Ju Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in there. Thank you very much. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo. I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fuku-san tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been... Wishing and willing it to do. Nozomi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada. I... Oh yeah. You're leaving for Canada soon. Well... 
I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. comes from a far eastern land across the ocean. A young man who has yet to realize his own potential. This potential is a power that can both destroy him as well as ensure his will is realized. Perhaps he will achieve the balance that will mark him a man of courage. The path he must traverse is fraught with adversity and filled with expectations. I await whilst praying for the realization of this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with morning star as its only light. And thus, the saga begins.